You can now create five minute AI animation stories with models like Google VO3 and Sora 2 in one single prompt and get results like this. You already know how insane that is because up until now, getting results even close to this meant paying hundreds of dollars for AI tools, jumping between five different apps, prompting, reprompting, and stitching scenes, and still ending up with characters that look like they swapped faces every four seconds. But thanks to this secret tool I'm about to show you, all of that has completely changed. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact step-by-step -step workflow to create animation animation stories just like the one you saw, plus a few tricks to get even crazier results out of the newest integrated models. The secret tool that finally lets us create AI animation stories using the best models out there is actually called NVIDIA AI. And right now, it's the best tool to create long AI videos with as little as one prompt. It's crazy how simple they've made it. When you sign into NVIDIA using the link in the description, this window will appear. And one of the most important things we want to make sure we have turned on is the highest model in the top left corner. By using the V4 model, we're able to work with the most advanced models they've integrated so far, which is insane compared to what a lot of other tools allow you to do. When it comes to prompting your video, you actually have two options. You can write the whole prompt directly in this prompt window, or you can use the method I prefer the most, which is the workflows method. If you click on workflows, you'll get this window right here where you have a ton of templates for different videos you can create. Up top, you have the Trends tab, which lets you create videos based on what's currently trending online. You also have the Top Picks section, which is what most people use this tool for. You can also create content for faceless videos and make them as long as you want. But what we want today are the animated videos. You can find them in two different ways. You can scroll through the animated video section, and if you click See All, you'll notice they offer a wide range of different animation styles. Everything from anime to Lego to Minecraft. Those are good for short videos, but the workflow that actually lets you create animated videos up to five minutes long can be found by simply typing animated in the search window. When you type that in, you'll see the animated animated video workflow. Click on it and the first thing it'll ask you is the length of the video. For this generation, I'm going to go with 5 minutes. After that, you'll be asked to choose the platform you're making it for. And I'm going with YouTube. Then you'll be prompted to paste in your topic. This is where you give a quick explanation of what your story is about. For mine, I want to do a story about a small village where the sun mysteriously stops rising. So my description for that looks like this. This animation follows a small village on the day the sun mysteriously stopped rising. As darkness stretches on, a curious kid embarks on a journey to discover what happened. The video will show magical visuals as the village slowly learns how important light, hope, and work really are. It's a pretty cool idea for a warm kids animation. Once we've written out the idea, we can go ahead and select the settings. The first one, and the most important one, is the only generated clips setting. What this does is it tells the model to only use fully AI generated clips instead of the huge library of stock images they have. This is super important because using only generated clips keeps your video consistent and prevents it from randomly throwing in a stock shot that breaks the style. Once that's selected, we can choose the background music. I'm going with emotional because it fits the vibe of the video better. Then we pick the language and I'm choosing English, but you can choose from a ton of other languages, which is actually super useful if you want to create videos that appeal to different demographics. After that, you can decide whether you want subtitles. I do want subtitles for this one, so I'm going with clean subtitles with outline, which fits this animation style really well. You can also add a watermark if you want, but I'm not going to. And we don't need anything in the music preference section either. Then for the generation style, you can pick from a bunch of different styles. I'm going to go with Disney Pixar because I like the way it looks for this kind of story. Next we pick the voice actors. This part is actually really important because choosing a good narrator makes a huge difference in how your final video feels. So I'm going with a female voice with a clear American accent for the narrator and then I'm going to let the AI choose the rest of the voices if it needs any. Once that's done we can click on proceed. In video we'll now take everything we've chosen and format it into a full clean prompt. This means we don't have to manually write out a long prompt at all. You just choose the settings, click a few buttons, and NVIDIA turns it into a proper structured prompt for you. And after that, all we need to do is click on generate video. This will start the initial generation. And once that finishes, NVIDIA will give us some extra options that we wanna make sure we select properly. So definitely stick around for that because those options make a big difference in how good your final animation turns out. And here are the really important settings that you wanna make sure you select correctly. The first one is the duration, and this one will most likely already match whatever you pick earlier. After that, you want to reselect the platform again. I'm sticking with YouTube for this. Now this next one is the most important setting, the media quality. You can pick between basic, pro, or ultra. The ultra option is the one that uses the flagship models like VO3.1 and Sora 2. The pro option still uses VO3.1 fast and the regular Sora 2 model, but it won't give you the same quality as ultra. Since I want the best possible result here, I'm going with the ultra option. Then I just click generate and wait for the result. Now that our video is done generating, let's take a look at it. In the small village of Willowbrook, every morning began the same way for as long as anyone could remember. The golden sun would peek over the rolling hills, painting the cobblestone streets and shuttered windows with warm light. 
Roosters crowed, kettles hissed, and the air smelled of baked bread and fresh hay. But on this particular morning, something was terribly wrong. The clock struck six, then seven, then eight. The sky remained a deep, starless black, as if someone had pulled a velvet curtain across the world. The sun had simply stopped rising. Panic spread through the village like wildfire. Shopkeepers peered anxiously through frosted glass. Farmers stood bewildered in their dark fields, and the church bell tolled without calling anyone to prayer. Yet in a small cottage at the edge of the village lived a curious girl named Luna. The video came out looking really cool. I love how well the AI plays out the storyline and the overall quality of the generations. I know you didn't get to see the entire animation yourself, but even from the clips you did see, you can already tell how clean the narration sounds and how well the music fits what's happening on the screen. It makes the whole thing a super impressive result, especially considering we only use one prompt to create it. But in video doesn't stop there, because if there's anything you're not fully happy with, it gives you a ton of editing options to change pretty much anything you want. To do that, you can either give it a direct command inside this box right here, which is usually best for big changes, things like changing the entire language of the video or adjusting the subtitles. So if I type translate the video to German and play it, you can see it immediately switches the entire video into German, which is honestly really cool. Im kleinen Dorf Willowbrook begann jeder Morgen auf die gleiche Weise. The next place you can edit things is by clicking the edit button right here. This opens up the media, music, script, and settings panels. Let's start with media. Here, you can change any scene of your movie. So if I jump to this scene right here, I can click on it, hit generative media, and then click generate new media. Now I can type a quick description of the scene, pick how many seconds I want it to be, and click generate clip. And it gives us a brand new scene in just a few seconds, which I can now replace the old one with. Next is the music section. Here you can swap out the background music with something else, or even upload your own track if you want. They also give you a bunch of stock options you can pick from. Then you have the script tab. Here you can change the entire structure of the script. It's laid out chapter by chapter, and then line by line, which makes it super easy to click on any line you don't like, delete it, and write something else like I'm doing right here. You can also add actions, add text elements, add stock media, add generative media, or even change a speaker. This is especially useful because if you rewrite a line and want a different character to say it, you can just switch the speaker to someone else who's already part of your story. And finally, you have the settings tab. Here you can adjust things like the volume levels, your transitions, subtitle style, and a few other presets that control how the final video is put together. So now you know how to create AI animation stories up to five minutes long using some of the best models out there with literally just a single prompt. And just imagine what that can do for you. Imagine being able to generate videos you can post on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram in seconds without wasting time stitching clips together, hopping between five different tools, and without prompting and reprompting for hours just to get one good result. And all of this is possible because of NVIDIA AI. You can actually try NVIDIA for free, but if you want the generative capabilities, you'll need the generative plan, which is $100 per month. I know that is pricey, but when you compare it to paying for multiple separate tools, different model credits, editors, wasting hours prompting, or trying to force other platforms to do something they weren't built for, it becomes a really fair price for what you get. You're basically getting access to top tier models, a full editing suite, voiceovers, music, script generation, scene generation inside one place. And for long form AI animations, nothing else really does it this well or this easily. So if you want to start creating animation stories, just like the one we made today, go ahead and sign up to NVIDIA AI using my link down in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.